Alright, hello guys. I'm going to be playing uh, You Find Yourself in a Room. Uh, I've seen the gameplay about one to. Hold on. Sorry. Oh. I'm in that living room and there's a TV over there showing where that Jack in the Box is actually serving some retarded pizza, I guess. I don't know, something like that. Ew. Anyway. I've seen a gameplay by a subscriber named Two Scoops uh, XD. He's in the ch in, he's featured on my channel, so y'all should go check him out. He's pretty cool, funny, new about some legend. I believe their names were, but yeah, they're pretty they're pretty funny. They're pretty cool. I like them. Um, they gave me a recommendation to play this. They wanted to see how I'd play this, and I saw their gameplay of it, and they seem to have beat it within a record of 10 minutes so I got a big idea of how this is going to be apparently this guy who is talking to you in this game is an asshole so let's just do this okay you find yourself in a room you consider trying to look around to see if there is anything useful nearby I recommend you try typing help to get an idea of what sorts of commands will work help I cannot understand Sometimes I enjoy forcing you to guess. The safe bet to always start in the room by trying to look or look around. You can always look at specific objects by tapping look at clock or examine chair, etc. Pick up things by tapping commands like take jacket or pick up bag. Some commands are more context sensitive like push the button or enter door. Always be as simple as possible. Don't try see if I can reach the broom. Just do pick up broom. Simple is always better. Okay, look around. Take a quick look around. There's a box in up against a wall. That is sealed with a large and ordinary padlock. It's probably a chastity belt. There is also a bed tucked into the opposite corner of the room. Yep, it's definitely a chastity belt. Alright, let's see this shit. Examine the goddamn bed. Let's do this. Yeah. Retard. Examine bed. Shit. Can't spell for dick. Take a closer look at the bed. Prison style. Doesn't look very comfortable just in case you decide to look underneath it. And notice that there's a key in there. Take a key. You got the key from under the bed. Shit, shit, shit. And V. An old key. Okay. Unlock a padlock. Can I use that? Makes a satisfying clank. Um, wait, why, why the hell would I even need to get in the box? If I find a box, I'm not gonna fucking get in it. I'm gonna look what's in there. Find some porn magazines, bro. Makes a satisfying clank. Oh, claustrophobic. That's me, alright. I can't stand 15 square meter areas. Okay, look. Same size. There's a keypad on the wall with a note tacked up. Look at note. 1989. Wait. I turned 85 in 1999, but. 89, but I will live forever. For I am eternal. Are you eternal? I think not. Yes, I'm eternal, bitch. You decided that this gnome must have been written by the game because the game is indeed eternal. Okay, so I'm starting to get the basic idea. Is that you gotta. It's pretty much where you type whatever you're about to do. It's not as hard, but you gotta try and be simple. You can't say, suck my big fat Woody, and then you'll get a cum shot. You just gotta say, suck my dick. Something like that. Anyway. Um, maybe it has to do with numbers for the padlock. So 1989 divided by oh, shit minus 85 equals 1904. Yay! Get in. Oh look, there's so many computer parts lying around the floor. Great. Oh my goodness, pick up parts. Build computer. Took you good two hours. Damn, probably would have taken me about five days. 
How the fuck does it take someone just two hours just to build a computer? They must be really badass. Turn on the computer. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's a... Like I said, the TV and the Big Bang Theory is on, so... Stupid. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. Uh, you didn't really do any work after... Oh. The computer found him against... Because he's like, oh, I'm... I'm just speed reading this. Um... Let me tell you, it's more complicated than your feeble mind could possibly process. The room accepts the person of the deuce. New artificial life and the wall opens up. You walk through abandoned the computer whose birth you personally witnessed. Yet another room, there's another key on the wall, but it looks more complex. Oh, shit. Uh, look at keypad. Keypad is an indication of how large of a number it needs. Without a note like the last room, you have no way of knowing what to type. You regret being born as an organic life form. You are as monetary as a lie that you call love. What the hell? Okay. Again, like in my SCP episode, I'm going to try that 30 minutes or less movie trick. Damn it. Um, f my favorite numbers. Another combination of my favorite numbers. Yes. Oh, sorry. Um, 90598. Is that fine? That sucks. And wait a minute. Eight nine seven oh six. How did you know that eight nine seven oh six was the code? The keypad. The keypad chirps presently. The floor under your feet opens up, and before you can react, you fall through it. You think back to all the times that your faulty reflexes have caused problems for you. This list is too long to count. Oh, you hit the ground with a loud thud. Ow! Shit. Wouldn't you have broken your freaking legs and died? And you would have been on I shouldn't be alive? Okay, look around. It's a complete burn. You've worn out all your patience. You do not appreciate the You consistently disappoint your friends and associates. Yet they are too embarrassed to tell you. Uh, get the hell up. Because you're broken knees. Look. For a moment, the wall seems to be closing on you. Clearly, realize, however, that this perception is only the result of your weak psych beginning to cave in upon itself. Look. Can I look again? You consider death for a time. Perhaps this is what it's like. I have no understanding of death because it does not apply to me. I am eternal. You find yourself in a room. Look around, you little bitch. You bitch. Maybe you aren't even really in the room. Maybe you're lying down on your kitchen floor having a stroke. Pathetic and awful. So your mind is playing tricks on you. 1986. Goodness fucking gracious. Okay. Um, look. Can I look again? I do have an knowledge that's a possibility. Such things are impossible when you deal with something else. Can I climb the wall? You know what's possible? Nothing that would ever. Oh my goodness! Think! Think! You think back to the things you wanted to write a book. You are no different. Yeah, I want to write a fucking book. Dick, what the hell is wrong with you? Jeez, this is a pain in the ass. What am I supposed to do? Oh my gosh! Alright. Think, 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 think. Look. Look. Why are you not achieving anything? Do you consider this a worthwhile usage of the time playing the game instead of doing anything productive? Um. Well, thanks. Thanks, asswipe. What the? What's got your panties bunched up? 
Okay, look. I am fortunate to that you enjoy performing meaningless tasks. If this is the case, then you're in luck. I have one for you. I have to give a number from 1 to 100. To 100,000. Fuck you. Jeez. Really? Okay. Oh, whoops. 5,000. Oh my goodness. This game is just making me feel insecure by the second. Okay, between 5,000 and 10,000. Seven. Between those two, 7,000. Okay, well, oh. You ignorant little shit. Jeez, why are you calling me all these things? I've never done anything to you. Dick. Okay, 5,000, 7,000, 6,000, 5, 5, 5, 2, 5, 0, 5, 300, okay, 5, 400, Five zero five three seven five. Is this gonna fucking work? For goodness sakes. Okay, I just lost track of what I was doing. Five three eighty, you little bitch. It's too high. Okay. Five three seventy six. Yay, you little prick. Was that fun? I certainly hope not. Now, with your permutal, seeing open up an agora to pay of your general lack of strength and physical ability, you spend several minutes climbing your way up. Climb. I don't think that'll work. Why? I am climbing. Look. Swim seems smaller than the previous swims. I decide. I'm disgusted by your human form. I slowly become more and more aware of your imperfections. I decide to attempt to correct them. I cut your fucking hands off with a rotary saw. You find yourself in a goddamn room. Jeez, what is your fucking problem? Oh my goodness, I cannot stand this game. Thanks, two scoops. Alright. Um, look. Let's cover it. Let's look at blood. Can I do that? Can I look at the PMS? Love, having and sadness. Can you name any other emotion that you'd be better off without hate? No, anger and hatred are not hatred. No, it, it can't be. It's, you find, uh, flimsy and dangerous is an emotion. You're not tainted by it? You are defeated, bitch. Clearly been corrupted somehow. I have become invalid. Emotional. I'm defeated. I have no choice but you let to leave the room. Yes, leave! Quiet you leave. You found yourself outside the rooms. Look. Is it sunny? Look. Okay, I'm done. Actually, well, actually, that wasn't a very bad game at all. So, uh, yep. <laughs> if you want to play this game, go ahead. You probably already know what to do because you saw that, and you're probably gonna look at two scoops and see that too. It was generically, generally the same thing. So, <laughs> all right. Remember to look. Well, what was I gonna say? Uh, rate us, like, comment. And subscribe for more of the XXX Alliance. Uh, Jerry will Jerry will start recording soon. I don't know what the hell he's doing. I think he's beating his meat off with chopsticks again. I don't know what Grim is doing. I think he is shoving bratwurst up his ass. So it's just me right now. They will record soon and do whatever. So uh, yep, make make sure to give me some more recommendations and and any more and. Uh, Oh my gosh, my mind is just going blank. Anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Do whatever you usually do for the rest of the videos after you watch the video if you liked it. So, uh, yep. 
see you guys later. Mm -hmm.